Hello everybody, this is Glenda with Fralins and Friends Crust Plus. Tonight we're going to make the Gasping Ghost. <laughs> and I know you'll enjoy this guy. He's kind of monotone, except not all. He's got black eyes and black mouth. <laughs> you might call it a disease. I mean, after all, the guy's dead. Tonight, we're going to do ghost, and I've already pre-baked the blank, so tonight I am just, we, I'm using the thickest setting on my spaghetti roller, and we are going to use that to get this guy looking like a ghost, so they can put all of the detail in. Covering up seams is part of the process. <laughs> I'm not sure that I want to get very much on the bottom. If I can help it because, well, I don't know. I guess I could go ahead and cover the bottom. That way there's less chance of it. Yeah, I'll cover the bottom trying to keep this I think I've got it set on its yeah on its widest setting but I'm working around the camera tonight I put it on a plate <laughs> at the same level so that we can hopefully get a good look at what we're doing so I'm right now just putting just covering them up with the outer layer, the beige clay, which is what we usually end up painting, unless once in a while I'll decide to just leave whatever figure I'm making in the um, what I use for the, in the white clay. But it is an, it's a little grainier. It just doesn't have quite the texture that that this does. So, okay. I only used foil in, in the structure to build around. I didn't do any kind of a wire thing, so hopefully our arms won't break off. <laughs> if we're careful, they won't. I did have to fix some stuff on the witch simply because I knocked her over and a couple pieces broke but she is now fine we've repaired her and I'm just taking pieces and bits because well let's just face it <laughs> it's me I will try to work out all of the all the seams and dookies. I wanted him to have a little bit more of a bottom on him. You know that. That ghostly bottom. There's the only thing with these I can't make them float. <laughs> I don't I don't have a string strung in his head. And I wouldn't know what to tie him on to. I don't make a tree for <laughs> for Halloween. Some people do go quite a ways out for Halloween and that's fine. They really get into the fun of the holiday and and decorating for it. They decorate their yards. They get all the lights. And it's like, yeah, that's fine. That's fine for them. I'm just, <laughs> I I just do a little bit. We don't have kids at home anymore. And actually, we couldn't afford all this <laughs> back then. This would have been a little frivolous for our, for our budget. But now that I'm older, 
I can have hobbies. Has anybody else noticed that when you get older and your kids aren't around? Of course, some people, they, they're able to stay, they're able to keep their hobbies when their kids are growing up. I did do things, I mean, but they generally involved hobbies I was less inclined to. <laughs> I did more out of necessity, like sewing clothes. <laughs> I my mom taught sewing. She absolutely loved. That was her thing. She loved to sew. And she made a lot of our clothes growing up. And <laughs> I know a lot of other kids that we went to school with also had some clothes made by their parents or by their mothers. Fathers didn't usually sew back then. I you know, it was those times. But, I don't know how many fathers sew today, some I suppose, but, anyway, that was mom's love. She had always dreamed of a, having a boutique and kind of m making her own clothes to, to sell in a boutique, but that never really came about. Farm wife duties are pretty encompassing. <laughs> they take a lot of work, especially when you've got six kids and hired hands. <laughs> a lot of people to feed. Well, this guy's taking some time, I swear. He's taking work. I probably made it harder than I needed to. I do, I know, I do. I often do. Okay, now it's getting him to all be nice and blended together. Like not getting the seams covered and I hope I'm keeping him where you guys can see him. I've not done it this way before. Not even in practice, which I should have done. I have made other things off camera. I've made some pumpkins, and I'll show you those later. I made a witch hat and some pumpkins that just, just kind of did so that I could have them to decorate with. I did not make jack-o'-lanterns because I want to be able to use them for the Thanksgiving season and Christmas season, which I'll probably make more stuff like some squashes, maybe gourd or two. I don't know if there's a way I could make sugar apples. I don't know. Out of clay. That'd be a little difficult. That'd be a lot of little tiny pieces of clay to Listen, those arms just need to be nicely covered. He's a, he's a spooky ghost. He wants those arms out there so he can go, Ooh. <laughs> This is not Casper. He's not the friendly ghost. Although we don't allow evil ghosts in this house, he is, mm, he's a spooky. He just likes to spook you just for fun of it. He's an ornery ghost. He's an ornery ghost. Might try to make him a little cute, but I don't know. I just don't know how I want to do that. Okay. How does he look? So what I need to do now is take one of my tool, tools or toys. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> we can call them either one. I can find the right one. One of these bigger ones. Because we're going to give him a big eye socket, big long one. Big, deep, long eye socket there, like that. Two of those. And then the mouth. <laughs> How about that guy? 
How about that guy? Ooh. Now that is a spooky, spooky, scary ghost. I want to leave that lip there at the bottom. Makes him look more, more like that's a mouth opening. Two big ol' eyes. <laughs> We're gonna bake this guy and then we'll paint him. We'll be back. Ooh, there's a lot of white. But we're about to change that. I'll come back and do a wee bit of touch up. I hope you enjoyed that. Our ghost is all done and you've seen him in his grouping. He is happy, even though he looks like he's scared to death. He is gasping. So <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Please do subscribe. Click the notification bell. Ga -ding, ga ding Give us a thumbs up and call me tomorrow. No. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. Smile and wave at somebody. And we'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Good night.